Cloudflare is one of the best services you can use to improve your website's speed, security, and reliability. I've talked about it many times before on my channel, but there are some important things you should be aware of before getting started with Cloudflare. Here are five things you need to know before using Cloudflare. The first thing you need to know before using Cloudflare is that Cloudflare is not web hosting. This can be a common point of confusion among beginners, but Cloudflare is not a replacement for web hosting. You still need a web server to point Cloudflare to. What this means is that your domain points to Cloudflare, and Cloudflare manages your domain's DNS records, and then points people to the final destination. If you have the Cloudflare proxy enabled for a particular DNS record, Cloudflare will store select website files on their content delivery network. They're essentially going to pick the most important files like the style sheet and certain images and things that take a while to make the page load. They'll store them on their wide server network across the world. Your website will then load more efficiently because Cloudflare will send the visitor's computer to the closest server geographically to them. Since Cloudflare has such a big server network, that's likely almost always going to be closer than where your web server is located. In other words, Cloudflare can kind of start preloading certain website files faster than if the computer had to go all the way to the main web server and back for every single file. However, just because Cloudflare stores some of your website's files does not make it web hosting. You still need a hosting account with a provider of your choice to get started with Cloudflare. Cloudflare. The second thing to know before using Cloudflare is that Cloudflare is free to use. When new users go to sign up, I'll often get comments or messages saying, Christian, Cloudflare is expecting me to pay $20 a month to sign up. Are you sure they didn't remove their free plan? And no, Cloudflare didn't remove their free plan. It's a little bit confusing, but when you're signing up, you have to scroll past the paid plans and the box for the free plan is under the main columns for the paid plan. It's there, scroll down, you'll find it, then you can click it and continue with the setup process process. And trust me, for the majority of users, there's no advantage to upgrading. Cloudflare's paid plans are for advanced and enterprise users, so if you're a small business owner or individual, you can get an insane value out of the free plan. I prefer to use Cloudflare on as many websites as I can because it's just that good. It will often make your website faster, and their CDN is very valuable to me. Another thing that you never have to pay for is hitting that subscribe button. If you're enjoying my content, click subscribe and hit the bell so you're the first to know when I release new videos. The third thing you need to know before using Cloudflare is that it's not for beginners, but it is simple to learn. This is similar to what I've said about WordPress on my channel. Cloudflare has a learning curve, and really, I mean learning and understanding the process of manually managing your domain's DNS records. If you're already familiar with DNS management, Cloudflare is nothing special and you'll feel right at home. But if you don't even know what DNS means, you'll definitely benefit from learning the fundamentals of DNS management to best succeed with Cloudflare. Cloudflare. Understanding DNS management is not difficult, and I have an entire tutorial on setting up Cloudflare that I'll link in the description below. Additionally, most platforms have helpful guides for setting up DNS records to point to their services. Think Wix, Squarespace, and Shopify. Just understand that if it's your first time doing DNS management, you may make some mistakes and need to do some troubleshooting in order to get everything working properly. The fourth thing to know about Cloudflare is that it speeds up and protects your website. These benefits mainly apply if you have the Cloudflare proxy enabled for A records and C names, which I would recommend doing in most cases. The Cloudflare CDN caches common website files across their global network of servers. These website files then load from the server geographically closest to the visitor, and this improves site load times. Cloudflare has servers in over 300 cities, including Nashville where I'm based. They even have a data center in Hawaii. Many people don't realize how powerful such a widespread DNS network is for the viewer of your website. Geography does play a big factor on website load times, and Cloudflare cuts down the impact that your web server location has on your visitors. The proxy is great for improving load times, but it also has additional security benefits. Cloudflare's network automatically screens all visitors and displays a CAPTCHA to any traffic suspected of being malicious. Since so many websites use the Cloudflare proxy, Cloudflare knows which IP addresses belong to bad actors. Then, if those IP addresses try to visit your website, they can preemptively block them before an incident occurs. And the fifth thing you need to know before using Cloudflare is that it can do much more than just DNS. The Cloudflare network provides powerful DDoS protection, and Cloudflare even offers free SSL certificates. It's actually been my go 
go-to solution to avoid buying SSL certificates for years. It's the biggest reason I tell people not to pay for an SSL certificate. Just get a free one from Cloudflare instead. You can also set up email forwarding on your domain, and Cloudflare's implementation is rock solid reliable. I messed around with other email forwarding services in the past, and I've had issues with email deliverability and speed. Sometimes it takes an extra hour or two before an email reaches the final destination, and it gets stuck in the forwarding system. But that's not going to be a problem at Cloudflare. All the emails are forwarded instantly, and it's another free benefit. Cloudflare can also obfuscate your contact email address on your website in the event that bot traffic is detected. This prevents bots from visiting your website just to scrape your email address and send you spam mail, and it's one of those benefits you're not really going to be able to quantify because we all get spam mail from a bunch of different sources, but having this feature is going to cut down on the amount of bots that scrape your email and put it on some list somewhere, and that's ultimately going to mean that you get less spam mail. These are just a few of the many bonus features included in Cloudflare, even in the free plan. So if you have a WordPress website, using Cloudflare is a no-brainer. And even if you're using a simpler website builder like Wix, Squarespace, or Shopify, I'm still an advocate of using Cloudflare for DNS management. Some platforms and web hosts may offer Cloudflare built in, and this is a great way to take advantage of the Cloudflare CDN without having to understand manual DNS management. However, to take advantage of every Cloudflare feature like email forwarding, you do have to set it up manually through cloudflare.com, so I think it's worth investing the time to learn DNS management and set it up that way. I have an entire tutorial video on setting up Cloudflare that you can watch here.